We all love Excel. It's so powerful. Until it's not. And then you hit Excel overload. But don't worry. Nifi can help. How can Apache Nifi help? So imagine you have multiple Excel files that are edited by multiple users in the same time that even they don't know who's editing what. What if we can have Apache Nifi to read the data from Excel every time a change happens and then have that data exposed to a, a database in the backend such as MySQL? Wouldn't that be interesting and powerful in the same time? In this tutorial, we're going to see how we can automate Excel spreadsheet data being extracted and imported into a MySQL database. Before we start building, download the code from the repo. So there you'll have all the, all the required template and information. We have the template that we're going to use in this example, parameter context that we're going to use. We also have the SQL DDL where that, that we're going to use to create the tables and we have the Excel data. All right, welcome back guys. In this tutorial, we're going to see how we can extract multiple Excel sheets from a particular file. What you want to do, you want to navigate to the templates and drag the multiple Excel sheet extract on your canvas. Now that we have it on the canvas, let's navigate inside and we're going to have to do the same as in the previous story. We're going to have to assign the parameter context to it. So we have the Excel tracker config, say apply. Great, so if we're going to jump into list files, we're going to see as we discussed uh, in the last uh, video, we have the parameter context as our values for input directory and the change now what we have here is the file filter so we only want to consume one file you remember in the previous tutorial we had that regex value where we consume everything that is in that folder so right now we just choose to, to consume only one file and the fetch file stays the same and in the convert excel to csv processor we're going to choose the sheets in this case, we have colors and cars. We have another sheet there that is not present. We're gonna go and observe the Excel sheet. We see we have cars, colors, and sheet tree, which is a dummy value. So based on this, uh, based on this processor here, we should only get two sheets extracted. So let's run this once. Run the fetch file, and now let's run the convert Excel to ESV. So we see we the output it's two so if you're gonna go and list the queue we can see that we get the catalog cars and colors but not it three let's go ahead and actually show that we can get that shit as well so it's an uppercase s let's go and run this again run once and if we look here and it's an interesting uh, thing that happened by mistake nothing was brought in the reason is the file did not change its state in the last uh, couple of seconds. So how we can get the file again? So the way you do it, you want to go to view state and clear the state. Save and let's run again. Now we see we have a new flow file added. So if you list the queue, we can see that a new flow file was added, which is catalog sheet tree by itself. If you see, we did this uh, a while back. Right, so this actually concludes our second part on how to work with NiFi and Excel spreadsheets. So in the next tutorial, we're gonna see how we can extract all of this Excel sheet data and insert it into a MySQL database.